All right, we're rolling. I'm Peter Griffin, and this is Shop and Cat Roof. R roof, roof, shop, roof, shop, and cat, guys. Okay, go. Ow, ow, ow. Oh! 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 Congenital analgesia, a life without pain. Seems like a pretty great concept for someone who's just fractured a leg or broken a rib recently. But like everything else on earth, it has a price to pay. Congenital analgesia is a rare disease that is transmitted at birth through the alteration or the mutation of the SCN9A gene whilst you are being formed. This disease targets the pain receptors in the brain, rendering you incapable of feeling pain and in some cases it can even alter your touch sensations. For example, with the clip you just watched, Peter Griffin experienced a lot of pain when he fell and crashed in the comical fashion. But with someone with congenital analgesia, a sufferer may not even know they have broken their back. They wouldn't have felt anything, and this can be dangerous, because how are they to know if they are in serious risk? Another example to make is through the photo of this boy. This boy here suffers from congenital analgesia, and when this photo was taken, he had recently grazed his leg on concrete, falling off his bike. Though because he didn't feel anything, he had no idea he was bleeding heavily until he got home. This looks like a dream come true for anyone. Never again feeling the pain of paper cuts, or the sting of burning yourself with the oil off the barbecue, or even breaking your leg on a skateboard, because you'd have no idea that you were in pain. But as uncomfortable as pain can be, believe it or not, it's actually good for us. Pain is the senses that trigger when the body objects to an action or bodily function. It tells our brain not to do something again or it will feel discomfort again. For example, if you hit your finger with a hammer, it will hurt. And you learn not to do that again or you will be in pain. But for someone who cannot feel pain, they don't know that they have damaged themselves and will most likely do it again and again. Did you know that a human's body can only take so much before it just shuts down? That means you're dead. And unfortunately, people with congenital analgesia, 98% of them die before they hit 30 years old because their body just can't take that pain that they endure. And most of it is through accidental pain. Unfortunately, there currently is no cure for congenital analgesia at the moment because it originates in your DNA and in your genes. If your body, however, can override the disease, there are pills for you to induce pain upon yourself in light doses so that when, if your body somehow can override the disease, it won't go into shock the first time you feel pain for yourself. So what do you think of congenital analgesia? Is life without pain all it's cracked up to be? Do you think it's a dream come true or a nightmare?